Is it for your lack of injuries on the injury list? Best prepared for an opening round for how long? Oh, I don't know. It's um, yeah, we're in, a, we're in a pretty healthy position um, from an availability point of view. We've got two or three boys unavailable, and obviously, from an AFL point of view, Lordy would be the one who's you know, would love to have available. But um, in some ways, we've sort of seen some you know, uh, some excitement around the fact that he didn't do an ACL. So that that gets us some optimism for the season. But yeah, we're in a healthy position. But around one every year, some anxiety and some some nerves and some excitement. It's just the way it is. You told us last year. That pre-season form was misleading, those losses to West Coast and Fremantle. So what do you take out of this one that's convincing you that you're in good shape? Yeah, I remember, I actually remember that comment and I, I do go, you know what, I reflect on that and go, yeah, well, we've played better in the results point of view, but pre-season's always around transition and, um, you know, being able to bring your form from your pre-season training in and when you've seen a, you know, a six or eight week period of training, you, you do get better belief than sometimes from over the other side of the fence. So, yeah, we're in, a, we're in a pretty good spot. Do you know if you're going to go um, two ruts or go chases at punch or four? No, we've got to go. We're going to work our way through that uh, once we train, because today's our main training session, so we actually have not as much we play Sunday afternoon, it's always a bit harder with selection, and, you know, I'm like, I'm usually up front, pretty honest, so I suspect that, um, you know, we'll work our way through that at the end of today's training, but we like our forwards too. I guess it's kind of probably a good sign that it says, you know, Jazz has been so integral to the team for the last couple of years, you know, he's almost up on the outing and didn't play the pre-season game. I just, yeah, competition for spots is real and that's what happens, as I just said before. We've got a, overall got a pretty healthy list and, you know, with Lloydie going down, even with George sitting in the background and, and coming uh, coming pretty quick now too, it's, it's exciting for us for the, for the season, but we also know, unfortunately, uh, you watch forty years ago, injuries happen and you just gotta have a full squad and you know, start the year off with a healthy squad gives you a chance. What does Jess have to work what yeah, what's the work on for Jess being? Well, I generally know what he brings, he knows how good he can be and we look he's a high quality player. He's um, you know, he's an outstanding player for us last year for that period of time where we went on a big run of wins. So um, Jeremy knows what makes his game um, successful at AFL. How far away was Mitch Georgiades from being included? No, he's a little uh, look he's only it's, it's really hard because he'll um, if he comes out and shoots the lights out in his first Sample game, and then we've got a trial game on Saturday. Well, uh, he might only be a week away. But the reality is, um, we're cautious. We understand what he, what he's coming off, and so is Mitch. Um, but you know, he's going to be hard to control once the, the season starts. And I actually said that to him during this week. I said, you know, Sunday afternoon when we run out, you're probably going to, yeah, I'm ready. Let me go. You said um, there's a bit of anxiety, a bit of nerves for you. You've been a coach for a long time. Is it is that just the nature of coaching? Round one always brings that out, kind of the, those feelings out. Yeah, it absolutely does, and um, that's what that's what it's about. Every team's had more often than not had great preparation going into round one. Every team is very very capable in this competition. We, we hear it every day how how even the competition is. So you're just never sure what's going to happen. And you know, last year, different type of anxiety. Everyone was wondering whether we were. Our, our pre-season form was accurate or not, and we came out and played really well. I expect our team to come out and play really well. Little you Drew spoke up about the, the the challenge that West Coast present. Is it is it a challenge for you to guard against complacency when on paper you go up against a you know wooden spoon aside, but obviously within your four walls there are, they are a great challenge. Is it hard to guard against that complacency sometimes? There's a lot of excitement coming out of West Coast too. You know, with some of the, the players they've got available through their side. I think there's eight, nine, ten. Premiership players still in that team, and you know Harley Reid's coming along. They, that builds excitement really quickly, and we've seen that at our footy club. We know how quick, um, exciting youth, and then some experience together can actually get going. Particularly at the start of the season, and, um, you know, you've got to be very, very mindful that our responsibility is to perform at our best and keep West Coast anywhere away from their best. Two new keys in defence. How have you seen their pre-season? And are they ready for round one? Well, like the club, they've, they've had pretty solid introductions to our, our footy club and they've um, joined in incredibly well and we, we're excited by what they may be able to bring. But the test is about to really happen and we're about to find out um, you know, against some quality opposition you know, the, whether they can stand up and, and get the job done collectively together. Because there's a little unknown in that, that's why the anxiety comes about. There's still some unknown. We've only played a couple of trial games. So, so what do you feel you've improved 12 months you know, yeah, since this time last year? Oh, look, we're, we're optimistic and we're hopeful that we've improved enough that that will put us at right at the top of the ladder, and that's where we, we set out at the start of the year to try and be. We've, you know, I've said before, we've got a really strong list, our best list that we've had in a good period of time, and and we we've looked to have improved that from the people that we've brought in, but we've still got to see that in action. So we're 
we're going to wait and see. We're going to hold our bow a little bit on you know, how much better we can and can't be. We'll, competition seems to have got better. Uh, the competition's always getting better. It's such an even comp. There's a lot of teams who think they're going okay. Do you have so, a rough idea of who will kind of come in for Pep um, at the moment? Uh, yeah, we've got a rough idea because Pep's out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got some idea who's going to come in and what, what we're going to do. I mean, most of our sides consolidated and settled, but, but as I said before, we've got to get through training. Sometimes you can go out, you know, come into here and go, oh, we're going to have this, this and that. Something goes wrong at training. It's always best to um, tell the truth. And at the moment, we'll consolidate our team after training. Are you seeing better things between your midfielders and your forwards? The connection? Is there better connect there than, than how it broke down sometimes last year? Yeah, I think that's pretty unfair. I mean, we, we did win 17 games of football. Yeah, we didn't perform in finals, but um, I think the connection's been pretty solid for a good period of time. I think we're um, excited by what our what our midfield's capable of and what our forward line's capable of, but equally as much by our back line. It's, it's the connection of the whole team that makes us successful. It's big and unfair, only seven captains still in maybe eight. What do you think of that? I'll be bad judges. <laughs> There's a few. Well, I didn't make them captains, so I can't, <laughs> I can't de- determine what they thought and think. What about your captain? How has he gone this pre season? Yeah, he's in really good space. He's, um, you know, he's excited. I mean, the, the, the stuff that I talked around, he, he will be feeling something like similar. It's his first time. You know, he's going to go out there on, on Sunday afternoon as captain of the Port Adelaide Football Club. We're in a famous number one jumper, and he's, he's 24. He's got a bit going on, Connor, but from what I've seen and um, what my experience is with him, it won't worry him too much. I think once the footy's out there, he'll play footy. Has anything stood out to you from the first five games of the season so far? Like any, yeah, anything from jump off the TV stream? Yeah, you've got to be ready or you get in trouble. And that's, that's as simple as that. I mean, every game has been. You know, there's been some really close games and there's been some really powerful games, um, but it's round one, and it was opening round and now it's round one, so it's, it's just going to be stuff happen that we're not predicting. What's the heat do, or is it because you've trained so long in it yeah. that it's not an issue anymore? No, I don't think it's a big deal to either side. I mean, um, West Coast have been probably hotter over there than it has been in Adelaide. We've had a good run in Adelaide, but no, I don't think. But this time of year, no one expects... Um, you know, to be 15 degrees, they expect it to be pretty warm, and um, you know, conditioning for round one is being done. But you'll still see people cramping. You'll still see people doing the things that happen in round one. Will it be fair at the end of people not only judge the result but the margin? But is that expectation that Port Adelaide should Again, start a season with a big percentage win? There's, there's an expectation from ourselves that we uh, we play the brand of football that we've set out all summer to do, and whatever the result that gives us, we'll have earned and we'll we'll get the reward for that.